Welcome to Dental Vibes. I'm Gabby. And I'm Carla. And if you're new here, we have been dental assistants for over a decade and we love to talk about <laughs> dentistry. In our channel, you can expect to see contests for our fellow dental assistants, mm -hmm. but also for anybody that wants to take care of their oral health. If you're returning back, thank you so much for your support. You're here, so don't forget to click the like button. <laughs> and if you're new, thank you for watching us. And don't forget to subscribe, please, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our weekly videos. Yeah, and today our topic is going to be what you must Ooh. know before you start your externship. Yep. <laughs> Let's start talking yeah. about what you should know before you start your dental yeah. assistant externship. We have been in your <laughs> shoes, we've been externs before, yeah. and we also deal with externs all the time mm -hmm. training them. So there are a few things that no matter what happens, yeah. You should know these things before you get started. Like your dental assistant bible. <laughs> exactly. So there's a lot of things that you should know. Yeah. Um, so we're probably going to have to do another video, but we're going to start with mm -hmm. the five basic things that you should just have it in your memory. Yeah. So the first one we're talking we're going to talk about is composite setups. Mm -hmm. And I've seen this in groups that maybe um, somebody has started the externship for 2 weeks and they still don't know their setups um, and their, their steps and they're struggling I understand that feeling but you know at the same time you can't learn that specific thing once you're there right I mean you have to already have the knowledge and then you're practicing so for that we kind of already created a video <laughs> so go ahead and check it out we're gonna link it below um, but you need to know how to set up and what are the steps mm -hmm. in a composite procedure. You're gonna right? be doing that probably in that's, every office. That's, that's like, like the life of dentistry. Yeah, place. like that's how we get <laughs> mostly paid. Um, even I work in prosthodontics, we even have to do some filling sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it's good to have um, that general information. I'm sorry, you do. <laughs> yeah, and like Carla said, definitely watch our composite video mm -hmm. because we do give you some tricks yeah. on how you're going to just memorize that without a question. Right. We always say it's very important for you to understand yeah. why each step has to be done mm -hmm. because that way you're not going to forget it. You're like, wait, but why am I going to do this right. if I still haven't done this? Right. Like, it just makes no sense. Right. So as soon as you understand why each step is so important and that you cannot skip that, True. it's just going to be in your mind. Yeah. So um, like Carla said, this is one of the things that like you have to get there probably on your first week of your exertion yeah. and be like, okay, I, I'm going to dive in and I'm going to assist with this, this filling. By day three, yeah. you have to know how to set up and assist. Like, yeah. You just have to, otherwise you're going to be stuck doing sterilization forever, flipping rooms yeah, and you're not getting, getting the practice. Yeah, not getting the experience. So please watch our video, hit us up if you have more questions on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Second thing you should know is how to take x-rays. Yes. We're not asking you to mm -hmm. be perfect because you know no. there are things that you're gonna learn as you practice. Yeah. They're gonna have patients that are gonna gag, mm -hmm. some patients are gonna have torides, small mouth, <laughs> you name it. Yeah. You're gonna have to learn on how to deal with those issues. Yeah. But as far as just basic taking x-rays, mm -hmm. you should know that because I'm sure you practice on your program how Hopefully. to take PAs. <laughs> An FMX, by wings, you should know how to do it. If I ask you, hey, take a PA mm -hmm. up to number two, you're not gonna go over here. Right. Right? So mm -hmm. you should know that. Yeah. And it's very common for interns that they will get thrown in and be like, can you take four by wings mm -hmm. on the hygienist next patient? You need to know which ring to get for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you're not gonna get an interior one, you're gonna get the one for the bite wing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and take those four bite wings. Yeah, I mean, I would say the first day yes. of your externship, if yes. they say, okay, we're gonna do some bite wings on this mm -hmm. patient, you should be able to handle that. I think so. We understand it's nerve wracking, yes. you're intimidated, you're nervous, but you know, you have to do it because you're gonna you're gonna have to do it every single day when you become an assistant. Yeah. So and by the way, that is a very lengthy <laughs> conversation on how to take x-rays, how to help you improve on that. We created a video. Oh, yeah, we also have a video. <laughs> um, that, you know, it gives all of that. Also, we share our um, tricks on that. And I think the main thing for x-rays, you know, take your time. We have a little trick of how to place it. Um, Don't be you know, scared. In a you have to go for it. Yeah, in the patient's mouth. 
but it, you know there's also like a time and I don't know if at your school Lynn, they review that with you mm -hmm. but I know we were always told like for example a full series of x-rays you take like no more than 10 minutes mm -hmm. so have a watch on or if there's a clock in the room just keep track of time yeah I know in my program I was timed how to set up mm -hmm. the the rings and yeah. I was timed on um, FMXs yes. so you yeah I mean you don't want to go to an office and take half an hour to, to do a full series of right. x-rays yeah. you want to make sure that you're keeping track of your time because one you're just gonna build that um, practice mm -hmm. and you're gonna be hopefully completely ready once you're done with your externship to go into the real world yeah. but also it looks bad right. if you're taking 30 minutes to take a full mouth series is gonna look bad so yeah. just make sure you know that the third thing that you kind of absolutely must know is how to take alternate impressions and also know how to pour those impressions mm -hmm. um, that is I know really tricky we created two separate videos um, and actually the one for the pour models when you watch it we kind of messed up, we kinda messed up. <laughs> 100% but we talk about in the models what we did or you know what could have happened what we did wrong how we can still improve even to this day mm -hmm. and what to look for in the model so it's very important that you know your mix when you're mixing the alginate mm -hmm. also when you're mixing the stone how to troubleshoot if you have um, a problem mm -hmm. that comes up okay um, yeah you have I mean, like a little anecdote and, for yeah. us <laughs> so in every pro well i mean i know in my program uh -huh. we practice tons yeah. of impressions yeah Pouring model i was tested on it so you know that's something that you should be comfortable yeah. doing it i mean obviously you're still gonna be intimidated right you're probably gonna mess up still but <laughs> you still need to know the basics okay mm -hmm. i know how to mix it i know how to size the correct tray in the mouth yes and how to place it in the mouth and you know if it comes out wrong, okay, you retake it, yeah. but at least you need to know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. So um, one tip that I'm gonna give you is whenever you're on your externship, mm -hmm. you wanna listen to whoever's training. <laughs> yes, and that's the hardest thing to it's do. It's the hardest yeah. thing because um, I'm very stubborn, if you haven't noticed. I haven't noticed uh, <laughs> at all. <laughs> so on my externship, I remember uh, I watched mm -hmm. the assistant that was training me for a little bit yeah. um, and after I don't know how many impressions she took, mm -hmm. it was a very busy office, yeah. I was like, okay, this next patient is going to need impressions, I got it, like I can do it. And it actually seems pretty easy when you're yeah. just watching. Exactly, yeah. so I'm like, I can do it. So she's like, okay, go ahead and I'm going to watch you. <laughs> so I measured to the T like we train in our program, like it was on the book yeah. and I'm mixing and she's like, oh no, that's too runny. Uh -huh. And I'm like... What do you mean? Like I did yeah. exactly how I was supposed to do it. The yeah. measurements were correct. She's like, no, you're gonna gag the patient. That's too runny. Yeah. I'm telling you, I was so annoyed. I'm like, yeah. she's just picking on me. Like I did exactly how you're supposed yeah. to do it. And now that I look back, she was 100% right. It right. was too runny. Yeah. Um, so please don't take it personal mm -hmm. when whoever's training you is being tough on you yeah. or telling you, hey, this is how you do it. Doesn't matter what the book says, right. this is how it goes. Right. Because they are more experienced. They yes. have done it way more than you, yeah. way longer than you. So just they listen messed to them. up more times than you. <laughs> exactly. So I remember I was so mad. And looking back, my um, alginate was so runny. Yeah. I probably would have gagged the patient. Yeah. So uh, just make sure you listen. Um, shadow as much as you can but also just jump in yeah, even if you're gonna mess up you yeah. have to practice it by the way I think my personal trick is always to start on the lower jaw because I to me that's the easiest impression to take mm -hmm. so if you feel like you're struggling with that you know maybe call the assistant to be shadowing you you know help you out when you take the upper one mm -hmm. because that's the one that usually gags patients so, you know, maybe you need assistance with that. It's very scary when that happens the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, I just want a quick note that you don't even use the measurements I anymore. don't use the measurements. You know, maybe it was because you of that. You have from that. I was like, I measured and it came yeah. out wrong. So, yeah. you know what? I know the consistency. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't measure alginate. And, that's, and that's what I wanted to <laughs> highlight, that it's like as long as you know 
what the consistency should be, mm -hmm. again, we keep saying it over and over again, understand the reasoning why you're doing certain things and it will be easier to troubleshoot and do things overall and memorize it. Mm -hmm. The fourth thing that you need to know <laughs> probably should have been the first thing. Yeah. Teeth numbers. <laughs> For the yes. love of God. <laughs> if you have to yeah. know one thing mm -hmm. when you show up to your externship, yes. please know your teeth numbers. And if you're going to a pedo site, then you need to know the primary teeth <laughs> numbers. Which it gets confusing. Then and I it's a little, never you know. really uh, worked with kids that much, mm -hmm. so I probably will still mess up <laughs> on that. But yes. Know your teeth numbers. I, I think that I, I don't really have too much of a trick, but I remember when I was trying to learn, you know, which area and blah, 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 know which are the wisdom teeth. That's the easiest, right? Mm -hmm. 1, 16, 17, and 32. Mm -hmm. Okay, where are those located? You also know the centrals, uppers and lowers. 8, eight and 9 uppers, lowers 24 and 25. And then your canines. I just feel like that gives you a An reference, idea. you know. And then everything else is kind of filling the blank. Not that every tooth number is that yeah. important. I'm just, um, you know, maybe that's something that you need to practice at home. Maybe get um, some, you know, get something from Google, like a printout of a charting, and try to have that charting in your yeah. pocket if you don't feel comfortable that you know mm -hmm. it. I mean, you can even like in your head you're counting and yeah. you're, like you have your tongue and you're like, okay, two, three, yeah. like. Somehow, you just need to have this down. And also, just look for your cheat areas. Like, yes. for example, if you are in the room, mm -hmm. in an operatory, you're gonna have the patient's chart in the computer yeah. that's gonna have the teeth numbers there. Yeah. So always keep looking at that if you yeah. think you're gonna forget. Um, some offices, they have the, what is it called? The mouse, like, pad. Oh, okay. And they, they have, have the, there. exactly, yeah. so just, have a little cheat sheet somewhere yes. for for your personal use, but then also in the room somewhere you're gonna have that. So you know, just know I, where it is, so you can run to it if you ever forget. You know what I just thought about that you can even quiz yourself that if you have a chart open, there may be already the existing already there. So that you know you're like, oh, okay, number three has already an MO composite. Let me find that tooth on the X-ray mm -hmm. on the patient's X-ray and just like learn to identify what you see on the chart with the x-ray and back and forth. The last thing that you should know when you go into your externship is about corona polishing and sealants. <laughs> um, in my program, we actually didn't get to practice that a lot. It was like a day thing only. For um, both? For sealants and... And like coffee? each, one day each. Oh, okay. But like the sealants, I think we did it on each other. So if that person needed any sealants, like... <laughs> You know, we had limited uh, teeth to right. practice on. Um, but thankfully for the corona polishing, I went to, eventually I worked in a pedo office, so I was doing a lot of child problem phase. Um, so you, I know that you don't get a lot of practice, maybe at the office that you end up, they don't even do it. Um, but you need to at least know what materials you need for that. And you know, what, what are you doing it? <laughs> Why are you doing it, right? And I like to point out, um, mm -hmm. we are in Florida, so yeah. that is part of our um, right our, our certification yes. that we are allowed to do here in Florida. Mm -hmm. I'm sure in other states it's different. Yeah, but if check with your state. Yeah, check <laughs> with your state. But if that's part of your certification, mm -hmm. then like Carla said, like in my program, we did uh, Profi polishing, mm -hmm. and everybody in the class we practiced on mm -hmm. each other, and then they set up a different day for us to do it on the other students from like it was it was a school that oh, had like okay. medical yeah. assistant oh, that's students cool. and some other that programs great. so yeah. then we had a day where like okay it's our, our you're team. practicing on a stranger practicing on, on a real patient yeah. you know so we did have quite a bit of, of uh, practice but now when it comes mm -hmm. to sealants mm -hmm. we actually just practice on models okay. and then you know the steps because like Carl said, if you mm -hmm. never actual, actually practiced yeah. on a patient, you should know the steps, you should mm -hmm. know why we're doing sealants, mm -hmm. um, you should know why we're doing uh, profi polishing, and at least mm -hmm. just know the steps. And after that, once you start yeah. doing on real patients, is you're just going to practice and practice and you're going to feel more comfortable. But yeah. So we hope that our <laughs> everything that we talked about has been helpful to you. Um, it is so important for us to help you get ready for your extra sheep side because 
we've been interns, we know what yes. it's like, and we know it's not easy, but it, it's so, that time is so important, not just so that you can practice your skills, mm -hmm. but also because there's a lot of hidden opportunities. There's like, um, there could be a job opportunity, they could already be hiring somebody, or they may not, but it could be like what happened to you that yeah. they lost, you know, their girl they lost left. Them and, and, and then, and hey, I'm doing well. <laughs> yeah. So I took the job. Um, you never know. Also, a good reference from them because a lot of the uh, references in dentistry happen like that. Like your fellow assistants know you, they know you work well, so they referred you to a practice, or a doctor knows that their other doctor is hiring so they so may they're like hey mm -hmm. I have an intern that yeah. is doing well so maybe mm -hmm. you set up a working interview so you just never know when the opportunity is gonna open up yeah if you are on your A game mm -hmm. you're showing that you have uh, potential to become a great dental assistant you're being motivated to yeah. learn more you know it's always gonna work in your favor yeah and um, you know, whenever you come onto your externship yeah. with already that basic knowledge, mm -hmm. whoever is training you doesn't have to spend so much time on the basic mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And so instead of like entry level, you're gonna be one level up. Yeah. They can say, okay, the first week you already, mm -hmm. you know, did great with your impressions. Right. You already know your X-rays. You know your composite. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, second week. We're going to teach you <laughs> implants, or we're going to yeah. teach you root canals. Yeah. So you, the more... That's like an actual addition yeah. to your resume, you know? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And what I will tell you, and this is, I'm going to, you know, just tell you how it is. <laughs> yeah. If you, as an extra, show that you have potential and that you are motivated mm -hmm. to just learn and give your all, that gives motivation to whoever's training you to mm -hmm. be like, wow, this person is really mm -hmm. worth my time. Right. It's really worth me going to my extra mile yeah. and explaining in detail and yeah. really training this person. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sorry, but if you are if you go to your externship site and you mm -hmm. don't know anything, yeah. like a lot of assistants are gonna be like, why am I even wasting my time? Right. Like I yeah. have to start from like what a cavity is mm -hmm. like they they don't have that kind of time yeah. to be you know teaching you all that that stuff that you should already know right but on the other hand if they are not willing to help you out and you you feel like you're ready you want to participate mm -hmm. and you've spoken with the high um, dental assistants about it and possibly even the doctor in the office manager and they're still not willing to give you a chance like you should know that by the first week because I would not waste my time. I would try to get into another externship site ASAP, mm -hmm. like yesterday. Because you're gonna be there at least what three weeks or more, and it's just not worth your time. If you're, you're just watching yeah, you it and not to be learning. Doing it yourself. Yeah. yeah. You you need the practice. We cannot highlight mm -hmm. this. Yeah, watching enough. is one thing yes you can watch take an impression all day yeah. but when you are actually taking yeah. the impression you're inside the patients now that's a yeah. whole different ballgame so if you don't get that practice yeah you're not gonna be ready for mm -hmm. whenever you are you start applying yeah you go to these working interviews to get a job mm -hmm. and you don't perform then you don't get the job yeah. so if they're not giving you a chance to practice mm -hmm. then you definitely should look for a different office to finish your externship yeah mm -hmm. so with that said again let us know if this has been helpful to uh, give us your story in the comments below how's your internship side going or yeah. you know are you getting ready to go <laughs> or how are you what excited are you scared <laughs> what, what are you feeling yeah tell us your experience of course don't forget to like this video and subscribe if Please you haven't subscribe to our so. channel give us that support because we love coming here and doing these videos for yes. you guys and feeling the love back mm -hmm. means a lot to us and we will see you next time Keep smiling!